Good evening, everybody. After much debate today, tossing back and forth, trying to figure out uh, what I was going to image tonight based on the position of M106 and where it is in reference to the fact that I had to wait, of course, till the moon went down just to maximize my signal to noise ratio on that. Um, I'm going M M106 tonight. So first time imaging this target at this focal length. So I'm excited to see what the final result's gonna be. I framed it up in Stellarium earlier and it looks like this should frame up really, really nicely. So hopefully the scene conditions will be a little more favorable this evening and I'll get an even tighter guiding and therefore hopefully even even sharper image than I did with uh, Bode's Galaxy. All right guys, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Got everything calibrated, set up. I'm doing the first test shot. And for tonight's session, um, it's gonna be a bit longer on the exposure. This target was a little dimmer than I'd realized. And I'm using a CLS filter this time, which I don't usually do with galaxies, but based on some advice um, online by Jerry Logigus, he seemed to get some good results using a CLS filter on his galaxy. So if I can, pull out some extra H-alpha data in M1, M106 using the filter, I'm all for it. The exchange, of course, is longer exposure time. So even at ISO 1600, I'm at almost a 10 minute exposure. Um, I think it's somewhere around eight or nine minutes. But anyway, uh, that's, that's the thing about shooting at F8. So uh, I love the long focal length, but the longer exposure time, you know, is can present a challenge in of itself. My tracking and guiding has to be that much more accurate and um, spot on. So we'll see how this test shot comes out and hopefully it'll be promising enough to uh, get a good 40 or so frames tonight. That's the goal. So we'll see what happens. All right, so here's one of the test subs of M106. Looks a lot smaller than I thought it would be. Still, I mean, that's it's much larger than before when I had it with the uh, MacNewt. And I know there's there's an area that it's has an outer wispy ring that goes about this large. So it's it's a bit larger than it appears. Once this image has been processed and stacked, you'll see this this wispy area that surrounds M106. Okay, so I'm about 15 subframes in. The temperature has dropped about four or five degrees, and I'm a little concerned that the focal plane may have changed with this scope. So what I'm gonna do right now is stop the session, slew on over to Capella, because it's the brightest star up right now in my area. And I'm gonna throw the Batnov mask back on, check for recheck focus, make sure it hasn't switched uh, or moved off folk out of focus that much. If the if it has, I'll make whatever adjustments I need to slew back over to M106 and get back to imaging. And this is something I typically do about halfway through the session. And I have found that in most cases, the focal plane, the focal plane does shift within even just a few three to five degrees difference with, with this kind of system and with the refractor. Um, now with the Maxitom Newtonian, it holds a lot better, but with these systems, uh, with the system like the RC here, um, I think you have to check it a little more often. So that's what I'm gonna be doing here right now. All right, so 25 shots in and hoping to get 
Hoping to get another 10 more shots here. Maybe held out for another hour. It's about 2.15 a.m. right now. And I uh, figure they're probably going to be done about 3.15, 3.30. So um, that's where I'm at. I'm dragging though, guys. <laughs> so I'm, I'm going to try and get these other 10 here and set an alarm. Just take a little nap and um, let that finish up. And then wrap things up for the night and see how things came out in the morning. Okay guys, so night one was not as productive as I would have liked it to have been. I did get about 35 subframes in. I had a couple challenges that really took away from the overall quality of the, the final image. First off, the scene conditions weren't as good as I thought they were going to be, so it didn't guide as quite as well as I had hoped for. Secondly, um, I, I used that CLS filter, which... Normally, I would not use for galaxies, and I don't think I'm going to use it again. Um, yeah, I, have, I have a really hard time getting the red-greenish hue that is cast on the image when you use that filter, at least with galaxies. It doesn't seem to be as much of a problem when I'm using it for nebulas, but H-alpha nebulas, primarily. But with, galaxy, with that galaxy image, I just could not... I could clean it up a little bit, but it just... It just wasn't coming out right. So for night two, I'm going to go back to doing it without the filter. And hopefully the scene conditions are supposed to be a little better tonight. And so hopefully I'll get a little bit better guiding and get a little bit sharper image this time. So I'm about to get started on night number two. And um, I'll give you guys an update here shortly on how that's going. Ooh. <laughs> All right, guys. So the clouds held off. I was able to get 40 subframes in tonight. Guiding is the best I've ever seen. Maintained 0.60 total RMS the whole time or better. So I'm really hoping to have achieved some better results here. Um, in the morning, I'll start working on processing these frames and we'll take a look and see what we got. Well guys, whew, it's three o'clock in the morning. Just finished toting the uh, telescope back into the garage. And I'm glad to say that I was able to get 40 subframes tonight. Clouds were supposed to roll in around 2 o'clock. I ended up holding off. And um, yeah, I'm just really elated with how well it tonight went. Guiding was fantastic. Uh, the best I've ever seen on this mount. And I attribute that to the scene conditions. Um, I got... Most of the time when I was checking it, I was at about 0.55 total RMS. Um, and it averaged out to being right around 0 0.59, 0 0.6 total RMS on the guiding. So even tighter than the first attempt I had. And so I do expect a little bit better resolution, a little more sharpness, and um, hopefully overall better result. In the morning here, I'll put together the data and see what I was able to come up with. I sound tired and a little groggy. It's because I'm exhausted. And um, I'm ready to go to bed, get some sleep. If you guys got something out of tonight's video, felt like you learned something, and maybe makes your imaging sessions a little bit easier, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, like, tell your friends all about it, and uh, stay tuned for more videos that'll focus on gear, imaging sessions, and tutorials. Until next time, 
Görüşürüz.